guys, let's get on to this week's CBD NN. Yes. So, <laughs> should we do it properly? Go for it, then. We need to. We need to just. We'll do one. We'll do a group effort, and we'll put it on as a proper like audio. Oh, we're we're proper. Tune. Is it oh, a there the we go. Take this. Come on. That tune I sent you. I think so. Okay. I'm gonna hear what the guy says. So. Okay. We're not just gonna pirate SABC's jingles here. No. Well, they did in the water, apparently. They can't even pay their people. So. Yeah, fuck no. them. Yeah, yeah, top billing's not top of anything. No more. <laughs> no, <last one> <laughs> no bottom billing. Yeah, that's quite end of an era, actually. Yeah. I was a bit shocked. It's like Princess Dad died. died. You'd watch, dude, boys, watch the <laughs> top billing and be like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who are these people? Who are these? Where do these people live? <laughs> Is this South Africa? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, guys, homage to that. Yeah. Um, so, Cape Town Cannabis Farm Confusion. So this story was all over, but I'm going to be reading from the Two Oceans Vibe one. They tune, well-known strawberry farm gets rights to grow dacha in Stellenbosch. If you're a fan of some of the finest strawberries in the Cape, you may have heard of Polkadrai Farm. The owners of the well-known strawberry farm are now further diversifying their portfolio, having become the first Western Cape recipients of a license to start growing medical dacha. Four other companies have received the cultivation licenses in other parts of the country. Uh, they say Falbridge is converting a sweet pepper plantation, including a large greenhouse, into a dacha plant, and is currently securing seeds from Spain. This is subject to approval from the Department of Agriculture, and they say it received a license to grow 14,000 square meters, but will take a phased approach, first with the 150 of ways such as in anti-anxiety medication and in food supplements. This seems like a step in the right direction, blah, blah, blah. So essentially, strawberry oaks, mega farm, got to grow gangs all okay, now. Can I just say one thing? Over the know. years, right, how many articles have we seen about somebody <coughs> getting the first license? What the fuck is a first license? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How many yeah. more firsts are there going to be? Yeah. Another another boring. 50, another first. First. Like, how sad are you if you just yeah. have to be the first at something? Because this is even the first in Cape Town. Because there's that other one that's yeah. there in Atlantis or yeah. somewhere, exactly. or Atlanta or whatever. Exactly. So this isn't even in the first in Cape Town. But it's like everything that's Dacha. What does the poor public think, you know? It's yeah. a big joke. It is a joke. Yeah. Your license... But Make kudos to Zapra for coming out and correcting the situation. That's <laughs> the first time I would ever say... Kudos to Sapra. So what happened there, Joe? Well, firstly, who's Sapra? <laughs> so the uh, South African Health Practitioners Regulation Association, whatever. whatever. Authority. Yeah. And you say they came down on these oaks? Well, they released a statement uh, saying, excuse me, hi, like some facts are, are needed to be explained here. Mm. No licenses. Did the article say it was the first commercial license? Or? I can't remember. All I know is Sapra came out and said, uh, no. It's mm -hmm. not right, actually. There are no licenses. There are no licenses. There are zero licenses. So they say. So, uh, we put the links in the bottom, guys. Go check them out at your discretion later on, or at your leisure. Uh, but I have got the link here for this Sapra rebuke, or writing yeah. as it went down. Sapra clears the air on cannabis cultivation commercial licenses. Uh, SA Health Products Authority's Nomina... Amarji says the licenses issues are for the licenses issued are for medicinal use purposes only. Some of the quotes are the authorization was issued to them for the cultivation of cannabis solely for the purpose of medicinal use. It does not speak to the commercial cultivation for non medicinal use or for the purposes of research. Uh, the sites have met the subscribed recommended or the subscriptions recommended in the guidelines that have been implemented and published and Basically, if you go read the separate thing, they were they were very bullet point yeah. about we we said it's not for sale, it's not going to market because it sounds like these these oaks went on radio and they said we got the license. Next thing you know, on Long Street, there's going to be their gangs all. You know, we're going to put Emporium out of business. We're going to put Little Amsterdam out of business. We're going to do it all. And then Sapra said, whoa, 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 whoa. Firstly, this is more of a research license. Mm -hmm. So you can't really be selling any of this. Yeah. So I don't know. Do you think these oaks are only realizing now that 
that they could only do this that little stuff. They just stuff? spent a lot of money on nothing. You okay, think? so now if you're growing for research, okay, now this strawberry farm, for example, they're going to put all this money into their grow or whatever, and then they're going to end up with all this weed. And now they're going to take this dacha and they're going to just donate it to research after they CSIR, invested oh, apparently it hundreds of thousands of rands. Mm -hmm. It goes to CSIR. So CSIR. they've got to pay for what, growing the weed, which includes all the labor and all of that stuff, the newts, that kind yeah. of they need them they need the, the biomass the material mm. in order to be able to put their research out and do it they can't fuck it up as they can't fuck it up they need to make sure it's grown properly so they can do their research i think so they can put out the whatever the hell they need to do and put out yeah. papers to say look it's been researched We've, this is how you, this grow. Is how you grow it we've seen yeah. people that have grown they've done the growth because we yeah. told them to yeah. now let the people grow it for commercial use and then they and will then do it and then yeah. they'll get it. I think you have to. They're gonna. They're gonna make they everyone do, do a research run. grow yes. as yeah. the first grow. Yeah, you you track that whole process to. from pip to yeah. expert. Yes, yeah. and you have to give that all of that information to them. Yes. Mm. And if you do that correctly, you'll I think they're it. gonna turn around and say, "Right." Oh, then you'll get it. Now yeah. you can do for commercial purposes yeah. as you. I'm not saying that's how they do it. Fuck, I'm not okay. inside at all. I, I'm thinking. But speculation. So that would no. make sense. It's logical. It is. It does make sense because the government's like, if we leave it up to them to do their own research, we are fucked. Rather, we just have the people that have some kind of knowledge do the grow, do the research. Can afford it. Fucking hand it. Like, that can afford it. That is thinking long term and not, well, who does the, not best the next harvester's cash in. Because they're going to break the Who does the research? The rest, no, who does you know? the best research at the moment? The craft well, grows. Exactly. The people that make their own yes. oils at home. But now, if they're doing research, they should be given yes. some sort of like guidelines to say, well, right, if you want to do research, we've got certain things we need to be researched or you apply for whatever it is. And as long as you meet the criteria of proper research, which is there's certain things you have to follow. It's yeah. research is research. There's no like different types. It, it, you do research and you get the, yeah. this kind of dumb information. All their work's done. Mm -hmm. They take that, they compile it, and hopefully they make it. They just say, "Shop, shop, go." <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you, Alex. I've heard the word research now so many times in the last minute. It's lost its meaning for yeah, me. Just going numb yeah. in my head. Because you know what fucking research I don't see them doing? Why are we still fucking arresting everyone research? Yeah. You know? Yeah. While everyone's putting all their, their, their Woolworths pocket money and their Megalani, I've got a strawberry farm money into now growing yeah. some Zol on the side as a side project mm. so they can make an extra couple of billion a fucking year and tell us about trickle down, trickle down economics, which is all bullshit anyway. Where's the research saying, why are we still arresting these people? Mm. Yeah. No one's ever so really done this the research. There is no involved. research ever to say, no that research I've ever in my years, even as a proper ganjaist, in all my years, I've never read a scientific study that ended with these words, we should arrest all these motherfuckers for smoking. They it. think the research they're getting for that kind of information is from the arrests. They're saying there's our research. They're that's all fucking research, drug users. That, that's exactly it. It's that, that's not the research. And if they think that's well, it, they, they've they never. They can never give a concrete reason for arresting somebody for a plant. There is no. It's a nonsensical act. It it, it's happen. nonsensical that it's been classed as a dependence-producing mm. drug. Yep. As soon as it's taken out of that classing, then they can't. They, they can't arrest us anymore. Then San Gomez can actually well until that moment the government right. is at fault the government the is guilty that's got blood on their hands until the law changes uh, causing substance yes. uh, but you know what's all gonna happen here like this one oak says he's very right he says all this weed's just gonna end up on the cape town street because you know what's gonna happen now you're gonna go to your friendly neighborhood dealer you call him everything because he's got everything there yeah. and he's gonna have his heroin he's gonna have your molly he's gonna have your shroomage he's gonna have your weed and he's gonna have strawberry skill like yeah. <laughs> you gotta know why eh? <laughs> that's it <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't know. Right. I don't know. So yeah, it goes on another goes first on license yeah. in Cape Town. Fuck, I don't know, guys. I don't know what to believe anymore. The but it seems I the wheels are the turning. First, I don't believe it because yeah. you know there's no more firsts. <laughs> no, I don't. You can only have your first one. I'm first. sorry. I don't think anybody cares about who's the first anymore no, because they've no, heard it so many cares. times. Like it's just okay. Then if it is there, do it. No, this is about the just twentieth person that gets the I first license. Yeah, just do it. Stop talking. Yeah. Just do it. Put exactly. it out there. Walk, Come on. Walk now. Shut Put up. it out there. Let's get it going. Let's let's really do it. Where's the socks and the protein powder that they're claiming? Now, where's yeah. the article about your grow and garden and home? Yeah. Why don't I see your grow on fucking top billing? Yeah. 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 Well, well, they can't anymore. <laughs> Why stop it being close down? Because if you guys watching the Hotbox no. show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing, it's true. 
Oh, uh, guys, all friends says a mango farm and growing ganja are good companions. They really are. Mm. Snakes. Snakes. So, any last thoughts on CBD and N Oats before we get on to something a bit more fun? Um, no, I think I've had everything I have to say for now. For now. Cool.